last second. Oh, it broke my heart. Anyway. All right, let's get into it. Dude, I... I, I feel like people either struggle against this character or they're just like, ah, it's nothing. Just put buttons in its face. Ah, to a certain degree. However, I feel like as soon as you stop respecting Sonic, that's when things can just get away from you. I don't necessarily, like, I, I feel like even when people are aggressive against him and that's what works, that's still a bit of a controlled aggression. Yeah. It's not pointless mashing. Because Sonic honestly loves it when you pointlessly mash. He's still one of the fastest oh characters. Oh my god. Whoa. And Nick went for I, it, man. I, 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 all right. Oh. Oh, no pointless aggression here. He ran with that. He he got the 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 uh, upper upper forward air extension into Ivy Store Nair uh, Uppy. Yeah, just great job. The fact that um you know he does have some invincibility, but no hitbox on that Sonic Uppy. You know he can relatively go out there and throw out that neutral air. You know, to, with pretty low risk, I'd say. And the reward, as we just saw, is massive. Oh man. Are we going to see that sort of thing again? Ah, so far, Kamek's doing a good job of not getting caught off stage for too long, but all it takes is like one instance in disadvantage, and Ivysaur up air, Ivysaur up B can just absolutely obliterate you. Literally the Noku special. He just F smashed that ledge just because he's like, <laughs> I think you're going to air dodge here after you're up B. Okay, here's the thing. He throws out F-Smash that ledge because it covers like 17 <laughs> options. <laughs> and he's like, yes, of course I was expecting that exact <laughs> option. No, he wasn't. He was reading like a neutral getup. It also like, like doesn't that. get punished by like any of like the like the neutral getup. You're so far back that you're not getting whip punished. Okay, this could be oh, big. Back there, yep. But not even able to even it up right now. It's now we have Charizard that's at red percent. Alright, never mind. Oh, uh, I think he could live that actually. That was, uh, I air dodged because I got put off stage. I, well, the thing about it, I, I have to still talk to somebody about this. I'm pretty sure that you air dodge anyway because of the fact that even though it can hurt box shift you into the blast zone, the fact that it cancels hit stun faster than a jump would means that it does reverse your momentum. I, I've heard it go both ways, but I'm fairly certain that air dodging away from the blast zone is the... He just ran up and scooped his, like, the beginning of spin dash with Charizard up smash at ledge, like, off stage. That was I mean, interesting. He spin dashed, like, right near ledge and got scooped with up smash. Oh, uh, back are gonna take it. Yeah. And if I had to deconstruct how, why that game went so badly for Kansas, it's the landings. Yeah. Sonic is a character where he's like, oh, he zip zop zoops But as soon as he goes into the air... He is vulnerable. That yep. is disadvantage. It might not feel like that all the time because Sonic has so many good buttons and still has pretty decent airspeed, but that is disadvantage. And he was kind of getting hit, knocked up into the air, and not able to find a way back down onto the ground. Goku was just on top of him with neutral airs, up airs, just every single air in the book that I <laughs> that all of Pokemon Trainer has. That's 12 the airs you can throw at him. <laughs> the, the most recent uh, Kamex match that I watched was uh, Kamex vs. Mile, and there's a lot of, like... I think spin dash, you kind of just gotta let it come to you, but know when you have to like put the hurtbox, uh, the hitbox out. Like a lot of what was happening in that set too is you spin dash, and I'm gonna put fair or uh, nair right where I think you're you're landing, you're ending up. You, you see, it's like he's like jumping, looking for that release to try to like counteract it with with the aerial. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, no, no. The spring was still there. He sent them back too fast. Maybe if it was lower percent, the spring would go away, you know? Awesome. Oh, man. Oh, this is actually looking pretty dicey for Noku. Trapped at the ledge. That uh, Sonic forward smash is... Oh, uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no, you can't do that. He was so far away from the ledge that he had to snap, so the up is not going to put him to ledge. So he has to air dodge after. It gives him a, a big window to get Charizard down there. Do you think that weird up B with... Uh, I am sure in the first place was actually a bait. Oh. No, that was... That was that. All right, so he didn't get much off of that, but teching into another upbeat to punish was kind of sick. I mean... Yeah. Any, tech into any kind of damage <laughs> is always going to make you look like the coolest guy in the venue. <laughs> even if you do immediately die afterwards. <laughs> oh. That was like a good fade back to ledge. That was, I do love Squirtle Uppy. The hitbox on it is so much bigger than people expect. And the overall damage output is really good. Like, I think it might be 17% of every hit connect. I think Kamex is being a little, like, trickier about where he releases the spin dash. It's kind of, it's working for him in, in terms of, you can see uh, Noku sending out aerials a little too early and then getting puni punished by the spin dash. All right. 
snap to ledge. Oh! oh the F smash the hurt box shift. I know, that was beautiful spacing on Kamek's oh. part. Just baiting uh, Noko into going for that dash, the uh, ledge attack. But that was actually exactly what he wanted. And now Kamek's with the lead. We do know what Sonic can do if he has a lead. I don't think Kamek's is necessarily the type of Sonic to really abuse that. But nonetheless, if you're Noku, you have to be sweating at least a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you can just hang out. <laughs> oh. What is that? Micro <laughs> what, a, what a neutral, man. I don't know. Oh, that was a good catch. I don't know about going for like the fair with like Sonic Fair like in Ivy Star's face. I think it's a mistake being that close to him. It is, but at the same time, like in terms of what moves Ivy Star exactly can throw out to challenge it, because you know Ivy Star's forward air of his own kind of slow, neutral air also kind of a commitment with like a weird hitbox. So I can understand why he's going for it because Ivy Star can kind of struggle with this like di uh, diagonally yeah. above and away from him. That's actually. So, speaking of the diagonally above, he he actually had three punishes. Oh, that was sick. That was, that was sick. That was sick. He had three punishes in a row. Actually, funny enough, he that was a that was an optimization on the same punish he was already getting. I don't know why Camus keeps going for it. Camus is going for like spin dash at like. Oh no! Was no, he's alive. He's alive. Let's see. He was just he was building rage for himself. <laughs> he's like now flareburns will kill. I needed that rage for that to happen. I got money on up out of shield. Um, I got or back money. air. Uh, I could see back air possibly. I think up smash is still one of the go-tos. Oh uh, uh, no, it's shot. actually get killed. <laughs> that's that's what he was looking for. Yeah, yeah. yeah we we're talking about we we're talking about Sonic's force match. Let's do that again sometime. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh, what I was saying is, uh, so so that, 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 uh, is it Bullet Seed? No, it's not. There's no way it's Bullet Seed. Is it Bullet Seed? Bullet that Seed I'm, is the Ivy Sword I'm, Neutral yeah, B. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what happened is, Camus has been dashing on, like, the lateral, and three times in a row, he gets he gets Razor Leafed into Punish because it stops the spin dash, and then uh, Ivy Sword acts fat first out of, uh, out of it. Now, that time, Nick's like, yo, this is punishable. I can hit this, but he Bullet Seed for the optimization. It was mad good. And he also led it into an up air afterwards. Yep. So it's, it's the sort of thing where I'm sure that there's counterplay if you yeah. are Kamex. Uh, that's not like a guaranteed stopgap for you know Sonic aggression. But nonetheless, I love the fact that Noku is able to change up the punishes yeah. when he's very confident in a specific one. He'll Cam get as much damage as he can. Kamex pretty off to a pretty good start this run, but Ivy Star doing Ivy Star things. And actually, we see a switch to Charizard. Very interesting. It, it feels kind of early, I honestly. I feel like it's like he, he wants to live a stray hit. But I feel like even Ivysaur would live most stray hits. Like, Ivysaur probably would have lived that back air. And then he could have switched to Charizard off stage and then died to a fucking smash. <laughs> I just... I think I think the, the key to this game for Noka to win this is to not get hit by that, that, that F smash. That F smash took, I think, two out of the three stocks last game. Uh, yes, it did. He needs to be a little more careful with his ledge recovery. Ooh, I'm actually kind of surprised we wound up at this stage. This was Noku's counter pick, and I would think this would be banned. This is normally a very good stage for uh, PT in general, and that's also kind of why I'm surprised we saw Ivysaur swap so early. Oh, that's... He should be dying nice. for that mistech. No, he's fine. But, like, Ivysaur specifically gets some disgusting combos on this stage. Good job cleaning that up with a quick F tilt. No risky punishes involved. Uh, but here's where things can get kind of yeah, dicey for it's, Gamex. It's close the stack out. Uh, this this stock. Oh. Ha! I I feel like that was a Yoshi's Island specific. I missed this F smash. Uh, no, I think that's because he air dodged at just the right timing. I saw some invincibility just barely right there. So let's see if Goku, you know, playing from behind last game. He fell behind and never really actually managed to, like, he lost that game. Huh? Let's see if things have changed at all because he needs to clean up this Kamek stock immediately. Oof. He needs to not get forced off of Ivy Star before the stock ends. That is a very important point. And he is He's not all right forced for now, to, yeah. but, like, one solid combo and all of a sudden, yeah, like, right now, he could die as Ivy Star off stage specifically. But, all right. I like that. Answering that forward yep. smash. It was working out before, and now not quite as much. Fight, fight, fight. 
Hey, I, yeah. This is tough. This is, yup. Not, not quite. He's at 71. If that killed, uh, we need to play a different game. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely died to that before. I don't know what you're talking about. But uh, I, I kind of think it's funny that he went for that. It didn't kill him. He's like, all right, time to go to Zard. No. <laughs> the Ivy Sword Cheese isn't going to happen, so let me just go for uh, Zard Cheese instead. Gotta be ready to attack. Oh, up throw again. Up throw wasn't gonna kill. He wants to keep it fresh. That's yeah, actually something that's, that's really good on this stage. Yeah, you can definitely take top platform like now and it would kill. Second forward air yeah. off stage. That's killed. That one didn't even need a link into it. Just great spacing from Kamex. And oh, beats out. That could have very easily gone in the other direction in that interaction. Oh, and this is the thing where he's saying Ivysaur because he wants to get this kill. But the risk of that is that Ivysaur kind of has, unless you're Quid, the worst disadvantage of the three Pokemon. Uh, so he could eat a lot of damage right now. No uh, wall jump? Nah, he, I guess he thought he was in range and he didn't go for the wall jump. I, he can still air dodge after the Uppie, correct? I think he no, air dodged no, he, he air dodged him. Oh, Dude, that was the lingeringest bullet seed I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I think it just it lasts forever. Yeah. Right? If you want to. He's been charging up those seeds all his life. Nobody ever uses that move. So uh -huh. he has just like 10,000 of them in storage. <laughs> <laughs> ammo on a thousand. <laughs> just, uh, do you have any more of that bullet seed ammo left? Uh, yeah, I think we have a few boxes. It's just a warehouse full of bullet seeds. Uh. Man, so much damage on Tenoku. He's forced to go on to Charizard at this percent. There are things that Charizard oh can do that make this not undoable for him. Up throw on top of underneath that platform is probably the number one thing, but he still needs to get a much heavier chunk of damage onto Kamex before that's even a threat. This disadvantage with Zard right now looking pretty good. Nah, that was actually really clean. Forward tilt out ledge would probably do it. Oh, is that it? With the fullest of charges. Yeah, great job. Just reading out all of that. He rolled, he spot dodged, yeah. he spot dodged, and then he pulled. The, the, the last thing that, that Nick could have done on, on the rip was uh, look for an upbeat there.